All right, we're just working on some uh, walking exercises here with Charlie. We're teaching him a formal heel now, so we expect him to stay behind our left leg. And when we come to a stop, we want him to stop again behind that left leg, basically keeping his vision parallel with our legs. So we wanna make sure he can always see our left leg in his peripheral vision. He's not getting ahead of us, not getting uh, too over aroused by the environment and stuff when he's in that position. So we're gonna give him that heel command now. So we're just gonna give him our heel command. We're gonna tap on the tone button. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a couple stop and goes here. So we're gonna move ahead, we're gonna stop. And if he moves past that left leg, I'm gonna say no. And I'm gonna apply my e-collar pressure and guide him back behind that left leg, releasing that e-collar pressure when he comes behind my left leg. So as I start walking, I'll say heel. No. Guiding him back behind that left leg. Now what I'm looking for here is for the e-collar to do most of the work. So I don't wanna to have to yank him back on that leash. I want him to respond to the leash and the e-collar together. Good. 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 Yeah, he's picking this up now. So basically what we're doing here is, as we're walking, we're coming to a stop, and the expectation for Charlie in this heel command is for him to stay behind our left leg. So his peripheral vision should always see our left leg. So right there, he's getting a bit far ahead. He started sniffing the ground, so I'm tapping on the e-collar. Once he starts to wander ahead, I'm gonna slow down, I'm gonna come to a stop, Good, and what we should see is him stop right beside my left leg and not continue to wander ahead. If he continues to wander ahead, I'm gonna apply that e-collar pressure, and then I'm gonna guide him back with the leash until his head comes behind my left leg, and then I'm gonna release the leash pressure as well as the e-collar pressure, and we're gonna continue on. And what I'm gonna do is when I come to a stop, if he stops behind that left leg, because he's paying attention, good. I'm gonna say good, I'm gonna let him know that that's the right thing, and we'll even reward that. I'm just using my phone right now, so I can't add the food in there. I'm gonna stop, good. Now he's really paying attention to this left leg. I corrected a few times where as soon as he wandered ahead, I was pressing and holding the e-collar pressure and guiding him back with that leash. One thing I look for when I do this is that I'm not having to yank the dog back into position. I want the e-collar to do most of the work to influence the dog to come into that spot. There's a sock there. So when his nose goes to the ground, I am also correcting at that moment on the electronic collar. Good. Heel. And this is how we shape that loose leash walk. Again, you have to give the dog, we like to use this left leg here within the peripheral vision of the dog. We like to use that as a visual kind of boundary or visual guide for the dog to understand where that heel command is and the exact position uh, that needs to be, that, that they need to be in to, uh, to be in that command properly. I see a lot of people, they'll use the heel command and they'll be correcting the dog when they're quite a few feet out in front and they're not giving the dog a clear visual boundary of where that heel command starts and stops. So important to be clear with that that's why we like doing this exercise gonna slow down there's a correction right there good and again
again, you're just pressing that e-collar and guiding back. You can absolutely add your no marker to this as well. Right now, we're not using any markers for this. We're just using the leash pressure to get the dog to focus on us. This e-collar pressure and leash pressure. Guiding back, guiding back. Good, releasing the button. We're walking past the house, there's some excitement now. But now notice how far Charlie is behind us. Good boy, that's so good. Charlie, break. Now we can give him that break command, release him so you can go potty. Charlie, break.